I ask that same question. Mm -hmm. But I say for the future, if you're going to do this, we are, I don't know how to happen. I, I, I can't take any claim of that. I don't know. But I can say that I think the issue had to do with, again, the number of people we have in town, the number of people coming through town, the number of people <coughs> staying here, and people wanted to figure out how to do that. That's my guess. Now, the new one that they're going to build downtown, I hope that they cut down, they've already amended a few things in it, and hopefully they won't continue to do that because they know they made some mistakes while building it. I know they, they know this now. So I think that maybe if they continue to do these type of buildings, these mixed buildings like they're doing, they may cut down on and make sure that the water doesn't happen, make sure that it's not as expensive, it's not that expensive to live and to work in it, hopefully. But I hope we don't ask for any more of those. It's under down problems. Standard plan or idea is part of the 2030 plan. And the, count, the current council now is re, revisiting the 2030 plan and the ordinances, excuse me, uh, to, uh, we've, we've already changed the heights in town, the allowed heights, and we are re-looking at that so that hopefully this won't happen again. But we are in the process of revisiting all these ordinances. Uh, so development and uh, from working with a local engineering company is something that we deal with a lot. And the unfortunate part about ordinances is they're kind of like speed limits. If you set the speed limit at 67 feet tall, uh, eventually someone's going to go to 67 feet tall. So uh, because that height limit had been there for a long time, and uh, because that building applied, and according to our Board of Adjustment in a quasi-judicial format, actually met all the requirements of the town ordinances, it happened to be the first building that met those ordinances. Now, as soon as it went through, we all made changes, and we decided that maybe that's not what we wanted on our corridors. Uh, but we have to be careful uh, when we make these <coughs> ordinances, because it may be two, four, ten years later before someone actually decides to drop 67 and a 67 zone. Uh, I'm very uh, unimpressed uh, with the amount of required parking that some of these buildings have, one of the reasons the standard of boon is so large is because most of it is a parking deck inside of it. Uh, if we look at how mixed-use development traditionally goes, uh, just like on historic King Street, uh, you have to have public parking and then smaller, shorter buildings that have the same amount of population. Thank you. Mr. Ashford. Well, this is the case for those of us who are not incumbents. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, thank God I didn't have to make that decision. But, but in fairness to the, to the existing council, um, the development ordinances are written in such a way that they may not have as much leverage as they, as they would have liked. Uh, I do think that looking back on it, it does show that we need to revisit those ordinances, which has, has been pointed out that we're taking place with the 2030 plan for one thing. But I think that uh, it's always a tension between setting rigid limits that are very strict and potentially bureaucratic and which hinder the kind of development we might want and having it so loose that anyone can drive whatever development they think is appropriate and is most profitable for them to it regardless of what it does to the rest of the town. Uh, that's going to be a balance that we're going to continue to try to strike. Um, I think absolute height limits are not necessarily a key issue. I think conceivably a building of that height might have been appropriate had there been bigger setbacks, had there been more green space, had there been more appropriate landscaping around the building. Um, it's not just a matter of height, although there, at some point height itself becomes absolutely unacceptable. But we need to make sure that we have an ordinance that gives us some flexibility and not so much that it permits that kind of development. And Rats, the standard met the requirements of EDO they also uh, daylighted the streams that you asked them to do. They did a number of other things that we asked them to do. Uh, I don't know whether any of us who negotiated that, worked and voted for, for that, ultimately knew just how big it was going to be. But it's on a piece of paper, a drawing, it sometimes looks much smaller than uh, what it turns out to be in, in uh, reality. But the, they built 
builders built that according to the, the rules, and uh, that's what we've got. I hate to contradict people, they did not build it according to the rules. They, they were given seven variances to build that building. They asked for eight, and they were given seven, including reducing the size of the commercial space in a commercial district in one of the main commercial corridors in Boone to, to make it so small that it's unusable. That's why it's unusable. Nobody wants to, to rent commercial space that's so small you can only have a newspaper stand since newspapers, no offense to the Democrat, are going out of vote. Um, there were seven, seven concessions were made through the Board of Adjustment, so seven out of eight. They were turned down on one. They were allowed to be higher than they should have been. They were allowed to have less parking. They were allowed to do a bunch of things. Um, they, had, they were given variances from our highway corridor ordinance. The town council twice had the standard come before it, and they approved it. And they, and they asked very few questions, you know, and maybe it's because they didn't understand what it was going to look like, although the plans were right there. The reason the thing was approved, and the reason it looks like it looks, is because it is, as Janine said, she's quite right, that's the fulfillment of the 2030 plan. If you look in the 2030 plan, there's a picture of the standard. We can't build according to pictures that are drawn by engineers and architects out of Davison. Davison is not Boone. They don't live here. We don't need them to make our decisions for us. And these aren't picture books. We need to bring more sense to what we're doing. But Crowding the road, the heights, um, all of that is 2030 point.